Hello guys, and welcome to Vlogmas day one. I know I look crazy right now because I am getting ready for work and I wanted to show you guys how I do my makeup for work. I put moisturizer on and then I take the Tarte Shape Tape. It's the only thing I use because it's amazing. And I use that basically as foundation because I do live in Florida and I don't wanna be like putting a full face of like foundation, concealer, powder, all over my face because it's humid and it's hot and I ain't trying to do all that. I'm in the color medium or light medium which is probably too dark for me, but I do need to go get a tan because I'm pale. Take my beauty blender. And then I set with the um, Secret Brightening Powder. I only use this under my eyes. I don't use it for the rest of my face. For the rest of my face powdering, I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Just take that with a brush. I'm not like super precise with this. I know like all the other beauty gurus you see, like they've got like the Instagram makeup going on where it's like you gotta layer it and you gotta do this and that and it's so neat and precise. I'm not like that. I wasn't like that when I worked at MAC and all my makeup on my clients came out beautiful. So it's your preference, you know? This is just the way I do it, especially if I've been doing stuff all day and don't really want to get ready for work. So then you go to the rest of the face and I kind of just put it wherever, you know, blend it up into that hair, mustache. Put it in here, take my beauty blender and like not a lot because you don't want to look like powder face, but you kind of go everywhere you went with the concealer. Okay, so now that we have the base done, I'm gonna do more powders, blush, bronzer, and um, highlighter. That's the word I'm looking for. So for bronzer, I have a couple. Most of the time, I will use my Anastasia. I don't really use this one. It's a little bit too orange for me, especially right now, because I'm like a little bit paler. Oh, angle brush. I'll take it and I'll just like go with those two, tap it off and just and go on my jawline a little bit too. And then just take the excess and kind of like put it all up in there, you know. Yeah. I always start with bronzer first just to get like the sculpt out of my cheeks and then I'll just do blush after that to kind of rosy them up, put a little extra color in my face. So when I do my foundation or my concealer, I just like, I look so like dead, you know? Like I need more like, I need color. I don't, I don't really have color in my cheeks. Parte, I don't know. <laughs> just like a little blush. And I take this Real Techniques like I don't even know what you would call this. It doesn't even have a name. Blush brush. Blush done. And then I take uh, the Sigma F35. I know you don't really would think you would use this for highlighter, but I do and it works for me. And then I have um, Opal by Becca. It's like, you know, pinky. Okay. Then I will move on to eyebrows. I use a Brow Wiz by Anastasia and then it is in soft brown. And then for my brow gel, MAC Pro Longwear, um, quite brunette, waterproof, love it. So when I'm like sweating at the club, working, my eyebrows don't fall off. Because have you seen my eyebrows? Let's start bottom first. For some reason, I always start with this eyebrow and then do this one. I don't know why. And I kind of like, I, sh I like, I shave off the tail kind of so I can draw in my own tail. I know that's weird, but it works for me. Mm. 
you see that difference? Mm. My brow set. And just very lightly, just, you don't need a lot of this stuff because then you'll have like concrete brows and that's, doesn't feel very nice on your face, let me tell you. Okay, brows are done. Use Smashbox Full Exposure because these three colors right here, I've just like, I don't know. They're just like, they all go so well together, you know? I take boom, 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 and I kind of just do that until I like get the, the desired amount on my brow. Do little swirly motions at the beginning on the, um, the end here to get the most color on there. And then I'll kind of just slowly work my way into the inner corner and then back. And you kind of do that until you get it as blended as you want it. And I'm going to further blend that out. This is a clean brush, same brush, just clean. And I'll take like this color right here and I'll just like at the top just kind of go over it to like further blend out the edges mm -hmm. then um, I do brow bone highlight so I'm going to take this one right here that one. And we're just going to pop that right under the highest point a little, little arch right there. I'll like darken it a little bit. And I'll take like more of that darker color. And kind of just put it like on the inner corner. Just to like darken it up a little bit. If you need to blend it out, just take that brush that you were originally like blending out the crease color with. And then blend that baby out. Use these two on the end here for the lower lash line and just run it right under there you make it as smoky as you want to I'm gonna use naked pigment by Mac just cuz I haven't used pigments in a while I thought it'd be nice you want to dab pigments you don't want to like swipe them you know cuz it is loose shadow so it will go everywhere if you're not careful okay so we have the lid color on there. Blend again. I use the um, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner um, Trooper Black. And I don't do like the big wings, or at least I try not to, but you know, stuff gets out of control and then you just, you gotta keep fixing and fixing and fixing. So we'll see how this goes. I try to stay as close to my lash line as possible doesn't always work out, but you know, you know how hard eyeliner can be. Not my strong suit. So to start off, I just do a line on one eye. I'll do a line on the other, and then I'll do the wings. Scooch in for this. Okay, so after my eyeliner, I would do my Mascara, I use the Falsies uh, Extreme Black by MAC. But I decided I kind of want some sparkle, because why not? I take a Slow Fast Slow um, Dazzle Shadow by MAC. Very sparkly. I'm going to take that same brush that I use for um, the lid color and just kind of dab it on there. Okay, so. Got the eyes done. Now we're gonna do lips. I do Love Bite by Kylie. It's one of my favorite colors. And of course, my camera died. So now we're on my iPhone. My hair's already done from last night because I curled it. So we're just gonna leave it alone. What do we think, guys? Vlogmas. Day one. Um, sorry it wasn't exciting, but I have to work and this is the only thing that I could think of for a day one video. 
but tomorrow I'll figure something out, you know? It's always, it's, it's always on the fly with me. Who knows what you're gonna get? But subscribe and I love you forever. Try this apple. I mean, it's pretty simple, but it's cute. I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.